Tonight, President Biden and former President Trump face off in the earliest general election debate in U.S. history. And the first time a former president and a current president are going head to head. Both campaigns have spent the last few days and weeks preparing for what could be a pivotal night in the race for the White House. Skylar Henry reports from Atlanta. President Biden and former President Trump take the debate stage tonight where both presumptive nominees will lay their records out to the American people. Biden aides say he plans to paint Trump as too dangerous for the White House. He'll also argue Trump would cut taxes for the rich and take away abortion rights. On the Republican side, Trump's aides are urging him to focus on crime, immigration and the economy, issues where he leads in the polls. But in the end, policies may not be what wins the debate. Many Americans are tuning in to see how Joe Biden looks and how Donald Trump acts. And do they have the capacity to lead? American University professor Jane Hall says in addition to policy talks, viewers will be paying attention to both men's energy and decorum. Do you think that either man could really sort of separate himself from the other based off of his performance tonight? I think that performance is, is fortunately or unfortunately going to be a key factor in how this is perceived and how it is perceived in all of the clips that will be that will be out there. Political watchers say those performances tonight could land big with undecided voters. Not a super huge fan of either, but um, just if they're respectful to each other, I feel like that's super important. New CBS News polling shows voters planning to watch the debate live are mostly looking to see how Biden and Trump perform, with 20 percent saying the debate will help them decide how to vote. This will be the first presidential debate to be held in a studio with no live audience since the Kennedy-Nixon debate in 1960. Their mics will be muted except when it's their turn to speak. All non-major party candidates, including Robert F. Kennedy Jr., failed to qualify for the debate stage by the agreed-on June 20th deadline.